Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz. Welcome to another episode of American Truck Simulator. You may notice something a little bit different over my shoulder. Yeah, we painted the truck and added some bling to it, made it purple and added all kinds of chrome and stuff like that. And with that in mind, we're gonna come back with renewed confidence here. We've got a load all hooked up. We're going back to try to work on the logged in achievement. So that's eight deliveries, one delivery each with all of the different logging vehicles in the game. We've got a log harvester hooked up to our truck today. We're starting up in Yakima, Washington, where we left off below before. It's 4.30 in the morning. You can see this massive thing behind us. And we're also trying for Leave No Branch Behind. Now, if you saw the last episode, you know that we started out, we made it the whole way till we could see the delivery spot. And then we managed to hit the fence post, get 1% damage on our trailer, which totally screwed up our whole delivery and didn't get the perfect delivery. Leave No Branch Behind requires you to make three perfect deliveries with the logging machine vehicles in this game. We have none so far. We're still trying to get our first one. I'm hopeful that we can just make it out of this parking lot today because the hardest part sometimes seems to be to get out of these tight squeezes here. But it's a seven hour journey with this thing that we're taking. We're taking it to Grangeville this is a tight squeeze getting out of here. These things are long too, but I'm hopeful that we don't get dinged here for damage. That would be a bummer to get damage before we even get started here. I think we're doing okay so far. It's awful tight on the left there. I can just barely see it. We'll go slow, so if we scrape some paint off, hopefully they don't give us 1% damage. All right, anyway, <clears throat> we've got plenty of sleep. It's raining because it's Washington. We're going to Idaho, then we're gonna come back into Washington. If we succeed at this delivery, it'll give us three, whoa, this is heavy load. It'll give us three of the eight deliveries we need. But the big thing we're aiming for here is that perfect delivery. Can we get it? I'm gonna be pretty cautious here. We'll see you as we get a little bit out on the road here. Hopefully the sun will rise here soon and maybe we'll even get some good weather as we get closer to Idaho. Let me give this a nice big wide turn here. That's where I messed up last time. I got too much of a hurry because if you recall in that last episode, right at the end, wow, we're gonna wipe that sign out already, aren't we? We did, <laughs> Okay, that's not necessarily the best start, but hmm, no damage, we're doing. So again, just as a reminder here, for these types of deliveries, you need to have no damage, no fines, and on time. Now this is again a, an external contract delivery, so that means we don't have to worry about being on time. We have plenty of time. Um, because it's in real world time. So as long as I don't walk away from the computer for a while, we're gonna be okay with that. So no fines and no damage, six hours and 55 minutes left to go. And there are some windy spots on this road I saw. So fingers crossed, let's see if we can make it. I'm not super confident that I haven't been driving that well, as some of you have noticed in both Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. And this is a long journey and this is a big load. What do you think? Think we can make it? How many of you out there have confidence in me? I, I don't have a lot of confidence in me right now, but I felt like at the end of our last Euro Truck Simulator 2 episode, where I backed up and got the parking in one minute and 10 seconds in the first shot, that was like the first whiff that maybe I'm kind of getting used to the wheel and getting kind of, getting my kind of my driving wheels under me here back in the game. But we'll see how this goes. A lot of wheeling. Right now it's dark and rainy, which doesn't make it any easier. But we are on our way. So we'll, uh, let's connect here in about an hour or unless something uh, interesting happens before then. Alrighty, so we're about an hour into our ride. It's been rather comfortable. It was a pretty quick uh, escape out of Yakima to get on this highway here. And uh, we got some slow trucks in front of us, but pretty straightforward driving. And to help us out here, the rain has stopped. Sun's come up. Now it's in game time, it's Friday, 526 in the morning. We've got plenty of fuel, and I think sleep-wise, we're doing pretty well here too. So all things are kind of set for a nice long run. We might need to sleep towards the end of the ride, I'm not quite sure, but I'm hopeful that we'll, we might be able to do this in just one shot. But it'd be nice if we had a nice long stretch of highway driving like this. I feel like these loads are pretty manageable once you're out on the highway. The places where I tend to really mess up are when I'm driving in like city traffic, making corners and stuff like that. And you get the kind of the other cars driving around and it's a little bit messed up and lots of, I mean, stuff happens, right? We all know that. So in the cities and things like that, nice river and bridge here. But so far, so good. 
We are about an hour and a half into the ride. No mistakes, no errors yet. Well, we did wipe out that sign pulling out of Yakima, but that that's a minor thing, right? And that doesn't damage the truck and everything. So, passing by slow truck, that's good. We got some big wide open highway here. I'm gonna make sure that I don't speed. I'm gonna put it in cruise control. And here, one thing I wanna show you. Let's, uh, let's do this for a second here. Let's do photo mode. Check out the truck here. Let's do a little bit of photo mode to show you. Pretty slick looking, huh? I got the oversized load there. It's all purple. I guess the sun's not dirty, but I'm pretty happy to get the little, the flashing lights on it and stuff like that. I could have added a few more things and I'll keep working on that, but it's a big upgrade over what we had before by far, huh? So I'm gonna take a picture here and then we'll get back in the truck. Four and a half hours to go. We got two and a half hours under our belt. No mistakes yet. Things have gotten a little bit more challenging though because now it's one lane each way instead of that divided highway. We had to get off and do a way station. There was a little bit of kind of nimble turning there and a couple little tricky spots, but we've made it through so far. Weather's holding out. If the drive's like this, feeling okay here. We just have to watch our speed and kind of pay attention and not hit stuff. <laughs> I get nervous when like some of those way stations and you know, the when you got traffic merging and stuff like that, it's it can always be a little bit random whether you get like kamikaze driver coming at you and stuff like that. But so far, so good. We are three hours into our seven hour journey, roughly speaking, and uh, we're still perfect. So we're hanging in there. It's a pretty part of the countryside, by the way. If we take a look outside here, I don't want to take a look too long on a corner because that would be a recipe for an accident right there. But I can go faster here too. Beautiful country out here though. Eastern Wyoming, I think we're, yeah, I think we're still in Eastern Wyoming. Let's get a right turn coming up here. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this drive is in Wyoming and how, uh, sorry, not Eastern Wyoming, Eastern Washington. Hello. I'm not sure how much of this is in Washington and how much of this is in um, Idaho, but let's slow down here. Want to be safety first. Is that our turn? Nope, it's up ahead. And take this nice and wide. We have learned our lesson on the last one. 25 miles an hour. Ah, guess close to Lewiston. This is Idaho, I think. So. All righty, we've got a yield here. Nothing coming, looking good. Nice and wide. Nice and wide. Good, don't hit that car. Good, all righty. Well, we'll keep making our way down here. Take a look at the sights and sounds here. Heading down the town here at Lewiston. All right, we'll keep going. We'll check in a little bit. Fingers crossed. We're approaching the halfway point here. So under three hours to go. We got four hours under our belt. We're still doing okay. Again, a lot of single lane highway here. And actually that wasn't Lewiston that we were back in there. That was telling us that this is the way to Lewiston. Lewiston's still, I think, another 30 miles down the road here. But all single, this is actually kind of fun drive too, because Speed limit 60 miles an hour, but there's a lot of turns and things like that that this truck can't do at 60 miles an hour, like you know 90 degree turns and things like that. But it's good practice because it forces you to keep the truck wide on your turns and things. So finding it's helpful. Oh, this is cool looking out here. Wow, this is pretty impressive. Let's get around this corner and see if we can take a look from outside the truck here. Yeah, I'm really liking this drive. Apparently, I'm not sure. I don't think I've been this way before in the game. So first time here. Oh, this is cool, huh? Looking pretty good. I'm getting a little better at driving outside the truck from having played SnowRunner. I couldn't do that at all before, but now it's gotten a lot easier here. But I also have noticed too, just because I, so I filmed the Euro Truck Simulator. I, I drove Euro Truck Simulator yesterday. One of the things I was talking about is getting more time in the game with this wheel and stuff like that. Whoops, gotta slow down. Don't get a speeding ticket. Oof, that was a fast change of speed there. 60 to 30. Um, but I was talking about how I needed time in the game. And so I drove yesterday in, in Euro Truck Simulator. And it's even just that. It's like it feels a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more natural now. But still not 100%. And I always like that extra tingle of adrenaline here. Oh, no, a bus. No, not a bus. God. Oh, and this car's going left. Uh oh. Okay, patience, right? He's not gonna be able to turn left, is he? And we got a lot of trucks beside us on the right. Okay, can we get to the right? I can, okay, let's do this. Light, don't change. Cars don't hit us. All right, okay, that worked out pretty well, I think, all things considered. 
but yeah, you know, figuring like I, I feel like that extra. I always kind of mentioned, but that extra tinge, whoops, of adrenaline when you have to make a perfect delivery is always really fun. Now, again, for this achievement, we need three perfect deliveries. This would just be one of them. And we need six more logging equipment deliveries to get the uh, logged in achievement here. Oh, bridge is up. Cool. Well, we'll just kind of stop here for a second and enjoy the little sights as the, whatever boat goes by. And now uh, we'll see you as we get close. About two hours and 16 minutes left. All right, now we're in Idaho. Here we go. This is Lewiston. So false alarm before. These narrow city streets make me a little bit nervous. Speed limit's 22. Oh boy, here we go. I feel like these are the places where the cars come in from the side and do kind of goofy things and stuff. So we're just going to take it slow here. Pretty little town, though. Now, we've been here before, though, I know. About an hour to go. Still perfect. Beautiful ride out here. I mean, look at this stuff. This is gorgeous. I don't recall driving on this stretch before, although maybe... Maybe we have, but yeah, so far so good. There were some tricky spots in there. I had to get pulled up, had to pull over for a way station again, and then uh, some traffic and slow in front, and kind of merging and going through like Lewiston was slow and stuff. So yeah, it was a little bit, little bit of, I mean, not smooth sailing. Like ideally on something like this, you know, you want two lane highway, sixty miles an hour. Just put the floor, put the pedal down, and just go nice and smooth and steady, no worries. But this has been anything but that. It's been a lot of speed limit changing, a lot of small towns, a lot of city driving, way stations, turns, corners, lights, everything like that. And look what we got coming up here. This is kind of a whole nother goofy stretch here. We got this U-turn. That's going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be lovely. What's that? Oh, loan installment. Good. I thought, we, I thought we got a fine there, but it's just paying our loan. I wonder how much money we have on that loan. I feel like we've been paying it forever. It was only 400000 right? All right, so we have to take this turn extremely wide. 180 degree turn. Oh boy, okay. Challenge accepted, wish us luck here. The other thing I don't want is I don't want someone trying to pass us on the left here. Fortunately, there's not much traffic here, but I think we take it nice and wide. Should be okay, right? Nice and wide, stay wide here. There's nothing coming at us, which is good. Just keep going around, because we are taking up both lanes here, for sure. But, yeah, okay, we made it. That wasn't too bad. That could have been a lot worse. If there was a car coming at us, because we were so far in that left lane. Whoops, now we want to turn right here, take this nice and wide. There's a car there. Do you want to hit that? That's okay. Nothing on the left, right? We're off in the woods there. Sometimes, I, if you get the right side, off in the weeds there, you can pick up some damage and things like that, but... Okay, we got some windy stuff up ahead here too. Last 41 minutes to go. We'll keep um, keep moving on forward here. Fingers crossed. I'd like to get this first one under the belt. And a perfect delivery, that would help boost my confidence a little bit here. All righty. Yikes. Okay, so now we have the off-road stuff. And this, this is the last 11 minutes here. This is where you actually have to go. I, I've had a number of times driving on this off-road stuff where if you go too fast, it just gives you 1% damage. So I'm going to take this extraordinarily slow and gentle so that we don't get any damage to this truck. But we got 10 minutes to go. It says 7 miles. It says we can go 50 miles an hour, but there's no way I'm going 50 miles on this because I have learned from experience that the game loves to just gives you a little bit of a ding because you hit some rock or something like that. So... We're going to take our time here. We got, looks like we might have a little bit of climb. This could be a challenging finish to this. This has got, it's got some windy there too. This might be uphill or downhill or something like that. We're going to keep it nice and slow and just keep moving along. We'll see you in a few minutes here. Or unless we get the dreaded pothole 1% damage. Five minutes to go. No damage yet. We've got this little logging action here on the right but if you'll notice right in front of us on the gps is a nasty hairpin turn don't want to hit that truck either i'm going to take that really wide now we've done these before so i'm not super worried about it but it's really easy to screw these up 
you know, clip something or be too narrow or something like that. So I'm gonna go nice and wide here. And hope I can make it around this corner without clipping something. And hopefully nothing's coming the other way. I, I, I don't feel like there's very often kind of traffic coming the other way here. That looks pretty good, right? Okay, so we're gonna stay nice and wide. Nice and wide. We should have plenty of power here. All right, that's good. Uh-oh, the left side of the trailer is off in the muck there. Don't ding us with damage. Don't ding us with damage, please. Oh, that left side, you can see it in the mirror there. It is way off the side, but looks like we got through okay. All right, let's swing this wide here too. Still got another relatively sharp turn here. Don't want to catch that rock on the right-hand side. That would be nasty. All right, straight ahead. So far, so good. Want to stay way to the left here. And our final destination, that's where we screwed it up last time, right? Our final destination is in sight. Don't go too fast. Don't want pothole damage. All righty. A little bit more. Ah, uh, I'm in. Couldn't find a job here. Minus 800 bucks. Come on, Ahmed. Get with it. All righty. Here is our destination marker. Question is, do we try to park it a little bit here? Let's see what we get. Because we could take it right now, but I feel like the hero's journey requires us at least to try to park the simple parking. I'm not going to try. I can do anything. Oh, right there. <laughs> Try that. We can. I think we can bail it. Oh, it's just right here. Okay, but there's these logs on the right hand side, right? If we see right there, They're trying to set us up to hit those. I don't think we're gonna do that. But anyway, let's see what happens here. I don't want to hit those logs and get damaged. That would stink. Yeah, I don't feel like we're gonna be able to make it in there. We're not gonna make this corner. Maybe we can. That's actually harder than it looks with this thing. Because that right side is going to hit the logs. Yep, we're going to call it a day. And we're here. Yes, we got it. Leave no branch behind. One out of three. Logged in three out of eight. We picked up $23,000 and we reached level 22. We're now professional. Awesome. That is fantastic. What shall we get? Let's get um, let's get the last of the high value cargo. Alrighty, if you enjoyed this one, maybe you'd like to check out our series with the Snow Runner. We're moving along there. We'll see you in our next episode. We're gonna keep on working in Washington, Idaho, working on the logging DLC. We're gonna try another leave no branch behind to see if we can get number two out of three. So we're one for two so far on these. Take care, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode.